Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweater? Now, try and this tutorial. I'll be showing how you can easily edit and color grade your raw photos in Photoshop with just few steps. And you're going to be learning and understanding how to get the best out of your raw images in Photoshop. You can see this is the image you're going to be using, and you can see before and after. And you, we are going to be using the advanced camera or one of the latest updates of camera to color grade this very image. So if I told you I've been shooting in RAW and you don't understand how to go about editing your images, this is the right video for you. So simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are not yet subscribed yet to this channel. And this image was taken by GitK Photography. And if I told you want to follow along as you're trying to color grade this very RAW image, image rather, simply check the links in the description of this very video so that you can get this image and you follow along. Like I said, this is a before and after. So in order to import the raw file into Photoshop or into Camera Raw, simply open up where the image is located and drag and drop it into Photoshop after opening it. So I'm just going to come and I reset mine to, uh, to the default. So this is the image that we're going to be dealing with. So before you edit any raw image in Photoshop after importing it, the very first thing is correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding uh, that very image and for this case i'm just going to increase this slightly so i'll zoom it in a little so like i said first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues first before you proceed with anything else so for my case i'll just come to this light option i'm using camera 16.5 because if at all you haven't upgraded simply upgrade because the features i'm going to be using in this video are going to lean more on the AI and subject and background selection. So you can see the background is lacking information. So you just want to come to the highlights and simply take the highlights down and do the same for the whites to get back the information. You can see clouds are now having some information right there. Then you're going to come to the blacks and simply take the blacks down just like that. And simply open up the shadows slightly then I feel like the image is lacking contrast so I'll just take up the contrast around 17 and this looks okay but we are not yet there so I feel like this image is leaning more on a cool side so what I'll do basically in this case I'll just come and simply warm up the image by taking up the temperature slider so this is the before and after so far that we have so after doing that, I'll simply come to my adjustments right here, rather to my masking option right here, and simply open up the mask options. So I'll just come and I first of all select my background because I want to get back information in, in the background. So I've selected the background and Camaro has automatically selected the, the background for me in this case. So what I'll do, I'll come and first of all hide the overlay. So I want to regain back information within the background. So I'll just come and continue taking the highlights down and continue taking the whites down just like that. And that is going to get me more of the information within the background. So I'll just come, since I want the skies to pop and have more color within the sky, I'll simply come to the temperature and I'll simply take the temperature down just like that and you can see by doing that it's going to cool down the overall mode of the image so I'll just take it around negative negative 20 or negative let's go with negative 30 and that is okay then I'll still handle or play around with the background by coming to right here I'll just come to my saturation and I'll simply take up the saturation because I want to get back more of the blows within uh, the sky and the environment. So, right now we have gotten the blows and that is going to be our starting point for manipulating the blows in this very image. So after we have done that, we are just going to come back to our basic panel right there. And under basic panel, we are going to go straight into the hue, saturation and luminance is when we are changing a given color so you can change for example the oranges to a color that we want 
and as we're changing the orange color we are either making look like a color on top of it or we are simply making the oranges look like a color below it so when you move the slider towards the right hand side we're making the oranges more like the yellows and moving it towards the left hand side we are making the oranges more like the reds which is the color on top of it which you don't want so i'm just going to double click to reset so i want to first of all manipulate the blue so I'll just come the saturation and remember saturation is the intensity of a given color so i'll come to saturation and simply intensify the blues just like that by taking up the saturation slider so you can either take it all the way up but that won't look good and natural so just add a tiny bit of saturation i think that is okay then i'll do the same for the oranges slightly to around six then i'll come to the luminance and remember luminance is the brightness levels of a given color it is either the brightness or darkness of a given color so i'll come to the blues and simply take down the luminance of the blues and you can see you can either darken the blues or you can brighten the blues so for this case we just want to darken the blues by moving it towards the dark side i think that is okay then what we are going to do we are going to simply come the oranges and also darken the oranges to get a more richer skin tone then we are going to also come to the hues and we play around with the hues of the blues to our liking or to our taste so just make move it towards the aquas just a, a tiny bit i feel like the blues are oversaturated so I'll just come and reduce on the intensity or the saturation of the blues so this is the before and after that we have right now so in order to make this better we are going to come to our calibration option and you're simply going to come to the blue primary and you're going to intensify that by moving the blue primary you can see before after you can see how that naturally makes the image vibrant and makes it look a little bit better so this is what we have as the before after before after so if at all you feel like the blows a little bit too much you can as well come back to our saturation and reduce on the saturation levels so i feel like we are having that kind of hazy feel to the image so i'll just come to my effects right here and simply dehaze the image slightly and i'll come the temperature and warm it up a little bit more so if at all the blues are too much or if at all the image looks oversaturated you can come and reduce on the overall saturation of uh, the image so i'll take down the saturation levels a little bit to around negative six so let me show you a quick before and after for what we have been able to achieve and this is the image before after before after before after so if at all you have enjoyed this simply like the video you can continue playing uh, around with the blues or the saturation level of the blues to your liking or to your taste if at all they look too much or too saturated for your liking and after that you can proceed to photoshop by opening the image in photoshop for you to do the final adjustments on your images so this is it for this video and if i told you i've enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe if i told you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating